Today we're going to have a quick read of the chapter 8 of the Louise Hay Heal Your Life book. One of the greatest book on the law of attraction you can find, one of the best selling books on the law of attraction you can find. And this is important because we go studying affirmation and we're going to study Louise Hay's take on affirmation, which is classic, very straightforward and very very efficient even though simple before i start i appreciate you guys subscribing liking and commenting i really appreciate it it does help my channel grow and i'm super grateful for it that being said let's get started i don't want to be fat i don't want to be broke i don't want to be old i don't want to live here i don't want to have this relationship i don't want to be like my mother father I don't want to be stuck in this job. I don't want to have this hair, nose, body. I don't want to be lonely. I don't want to be unhappy. I don't want to be sick. What you put your attention on grows. The above shows how we are culturally taught to fight the negative mentally. Thinking that if we do so, the positive will automatically come to us. It doesn't work that way. How often have you lamented about what you didn't want? Did it ever bring you what you really wanted? Fighting the negative is a total waste of time. If you really want to make changes in your life, the more you dwell on what you don't want, the more of it you create. The things about yourself or your life that you have always disliked are probably still with you. When you put your attention on, growth becomes permanent in your life. Move away from the negative and put your attention on what it is that you really do want to be or have. Let's turn the above negative affirmations into positive affirmations. I am slender. I'm prosperous. I'm eternally young. I now move to a better place. I have a wonderful new relationship. I am my own person. I love my hair, nose, body. I'm filled with love and affection. I'm joyous and happy and free i'm totally healthy affirmations learn to think in positive affirmations affirmation can be any statement you make too often we think in negative affirmations negative accumulations only create more of what you say you don't want saying i hate my job will get you nowhere Declaring I now accept a wonderful new job will open the channels in your consciousness to create that. Continually make positive statements about how you want your life to be. However, there is one point that is very important in this. Always make your statement in the present tense. Let me repeat this. Always make your statement in the present tense. Such as I am or I have. Your subconscious mind is such an obedient servant that if you declare in the future tense I want or I will have then that is where that ideal will always stay just out of your reach in the future The process of loving the self as I have said before no matter what the problem the main issue to work on is loving the self This is the magic wand that dissolves problems remember the times when you have felt good about yourself and how well your life was going remember the times when you were in love and for those periods you seemed to have no problems well loving yourself is going to bring such a surge of good feelings and good fortune to you that you will be dancing on air loving yourself makes you feel good It is impossible to really love yourself unless you have self-approval and self-acceptance. This means no criticism whatsoever. I can hear all the objections right now, but I've always criticized myself. How can I possibly what can I possibly like about myself? My parents, teachers, lovers always criticize me. How will I be motivated? But it is wrong for me to do those things. How am I going to change if I don't criticize myself? Training the mind. Self-criticism such as that illustrated above is just the mind going on with old chatter. 
See how you have trained your mind to berate you and be resistant to change. In your own, those thoughts and get on with the important work at hand. Let's go back to an exercise we did earlier. Look into the mirror again and say, I love and approve of myself exactly as I am. How does it feel now? Is it a little easier after the forgiveness work we have done? This is still the main issue. Self-approval and self-acceptance are the keys to positive changes. In the days when my own self-denial was so prevalent, I would occasionally slap my own face. I didn't know the meaning of self-acceptance. My belief in my own lacks and limitations was stronger than anything anyone else could say to the contrary. If someone told me I was loved, my immediate reaction was, why? Well, how could anyone possibly see something good in me? Or the classic thought, if they only knew what I was really like inside, they wouldn't love me. I was not aware that all good begins with accepting that which is within oneself. And loving that self, which is you, it took quite a while to develop the peaceful, loving relationship with myself. First, I used to hunt for the little things about myself that I thought were good qualities. Even this helped, and my own health began to improve. Good health begins with loving the self. So do prosperity and love and creative self-expression. Later, I learned to love and approve of all me, even those qualities I thought were not good enough. That's what when I realized to make progress. Exercise 1. Approve of myself. I have given this exercise to hundreds of people and the results are phenomenal. For the next month, say over and over to yourself, I approve of myself. Do this 3 or 400 times a day, at least. No, it's not too many times. When you are worrying about your problem, you go over at least that many times. Let I approve of myself become a walking mantra, something you just say over and over and over to yourself almost non-stop. Saying I approve of myself is a guaranteed way to bring up everything buried in your consciousness that it is in opposition. When negative stops come up, such as how can I approve of myself when I'm fat, or it's silly to think this can do any good, or am I no good, or whatever your negative babble will be, this is a time to take mental control. Give these thoughts no importance. Just see them for what they are, another way to keep you stuck in the past. Gently say to these thoughts, I let you go, I approve of myself. Even considering this exercise can bring up a lot of stuff, like it feels silly, it doesn't feel true, it's a lie, it sounds stuck up, or how can I approve of myself when I do that? Let all these thoughts just pass through. These are only resistance thoughts. They have no power over you unless you choose to believe them. I approve of myself and I approve of myself. I approve of myself. No matter what happens, no matter who says what to you, no matter who does what to you, just keep it going. In fact, when you can say that to yourself, when someone is doing something you don't approve of, you will know you are growing and changing. Thoughts have no power over us unless we give in to them. Thoughts are only words strung together. They have no meaning whatsoever. Only we give meaning to them. And let us choose to think thoughts that nourish and support us. Part of self-assessment is releasing other people's opinions. If I were with you and kept telling you, you are a purple pig, you are a purple pig, you would either laugh at me or get annoyed with me and think I was crazy. It would be most unlikely that you would think it was true. Yet many of the things we have chosen to believe about ourselves are just as far out and untrue. To believe that your self-worth is dependent on the shape of your body is your version of believing that you are a purple pig. Often what we think of as the things wrong with us are only our expressions of our own individuality. This is our uniqueness and what is special about us. Nature never repeats itself. Since time began on this planet, there have been there have never been two snowflakes alike or two raindrops the same. And every daisy is different from every other daisy. Our fingerprints are different and we are different. 
we are meant to be different. When we can't accept this, then there is no competition and no comparison. To try to be like another is to shrivel our soul. We have to come to this planet to express who we are. I didn't even know who I was until I began to learn to love myself as I am in the moment. Put your awareness into practice. Think thoughts that make you happy. Do things that make you feel good. Be with people who make you feel good. Eat things that make you feel good and make your body feel good. Go at a pace that makes you feel good. Exercise. Create new changes. Now is the time to take your list of things that are wrong with you and turn them into positive affirmations. Or you can list all the changes you want to make and have and do. Then select three from this list and turn them into positive affirmations. Just suppose your negative list was something like this. My life is a mess. I should lose weight. Nobody loves me. I want to move. I hate my job. I should get organized. I don't do enough. I'm not good enough. You can turn them around to something like this. I'm willing to release the pattern in me that created these conditions. I'm in the process of positive changes. I have a happy, slender body. I experience love wherever I go. I have the perfect living space. I now create a wonderful new job. I am now very well organized. I appreciate all that I do. I love and approve of myself. I trust the process of life that brings me my highest good. I deserve the best and I accept it now. Out of this group of affirmations will come all the things you want to change on your list. Loving and approving of yourself, creating a space of safety, trusting and deserving and accepting will enable your body weight to normalize. They will create organization in your mind, create loving relationships in your life, attract a new job, etc, etc. This is the end of the read. Hope you guys liked it. Will you put your attention on Rose? A few points from Louis Hay's take on affirmations. Do not waste your time focusing on negative thoughts and do not waste your time trying to eliminate them. Instead, scan your mind and guard your thoughts and see where your negative thoughts are. And once you see what negative thoughts you have, you can find a positive intention, thought, affirmation to replace them. You will now use those positive affirmations daily, in the morning and or at night. Of course, but also during the day. As soon as you have a negative thought, don't let it finish. Replace it with the positive intention. It will be hard at first, but it will get easier and easier. Do not neglect this part of the practice. That is what will help you sink in the positive thoughts into your subconscious mind. One other thing that makes Louise Hayes particularly interesting is how much she believes that self-love is the foundation of all. I agree 100%. The uh, I prove myself mantra is the foundation onto which the house of success is built. I would recommend it even more than the other affirmations. Please start with this first. She wrote that you should use this affirmation at least 300 to 400 times a day. You might think that this is a lot, but it's really not. There are 60 seconds in a minute. You can close your eyes for 5 minutes twice a day and be done with it. Always remember to quiet the mind and say the words to yourself feelingly and lovingly and persevere in the practice through the hardships of the beginning. I, myself, change the mantra to fit my taste. I either say I love myself unconditionally or I love and approve of myself unconditionally. Whatever works for you. Cheers and good luck.